Hello, good to see you. My name is Tony, F from DNA. Back for another rebuild. It's a Zebra rebuild. Or Juventus. Or Juve. Whatever you want to call it. Club formed in 1897. And it's one of the most successful clubs in Serie A. 36 league titles. And that's what these three stars on the kit mean. Every 10 league titles you win in Serie A, you get a star. They've won 36. They've got three stars on their kit. They've got two Champions Leagues to their name. And that's what I'm after. Champions League is the main aim for this rebuild. Five-year rebuild. I'm looking for another. Let's double it. Let's make it to four Champions Leagues and hopefully four or five league turtles to the name. Add them to 36. Making it so they get four stars onto the kit. Uh, the tactic I'm looking to play looks a bit like this. It's the Champions tactic. If you've ever seen my lower league tactical masterclass, this is a tactic I created. And I'm going to be using it with Juve. Why this tactic? Because it's got plays two up front. And I love a tactic that plays two up front. Two strikers. Two awesome strikers as well. In Dabala and Dusan Flavic. Apologise straight away for the name. they got a great team. But it is quite an aging team. Especially in defence. Cellini, 36 years of age. Pace and acceleration is dying off a bit now. His contract does run out in two years time. So we have to see him out. Bonaneshi as well. He's 34. But he still, he seems good. He's got, his attributes are still good. So he's still good for a couple of years till he gets to about 36. Quadrado, they've got, I put the, I selected the best 11 without restrictions, but I more see it something like this, if I'm honest. That, actually, the bar on the left. And uh, Alexander Sandro, uh, he's 30 years of age. Uh, Chesney, the former Arsenal keeper. Roma. Long year, long career at Arsenal. Yeah, they they've. I wouldn't say it's an aging team, but they're they're getting close to it. And um, Rabor, we need to play. He ain't going to be playing right back. Danilo. Uh, so they've got a really good team. Even like Car George as well. A decent, decent striker. I must really loan him out. Uh, Dybala, I've tried offering the contract already. He's not accepting it, and Liverpool are after him. So. Don't be surprised if he's sold in the first season. Finances-wise, I've got a 16 million transfer budget, 3 million wage budget, but what do I need? What do I need? A winger, midfield, is uh, Lacatelli. Awesome. McKenney, awesome. Maybe another striker, but I do love Moise Keane as well. So, Keane and Vlavic up front, a pairing, a dream pairing. And Keen, just when you look at his attributes, very, very good. It's just awesome. And I've never had this guy before, and I really struggle with his name. Dusan Flavic. Uh he looks well, like I could say I've never had him before, never had the money to get him six foot three. He reminds me a bit like Harland, really. He's just gonna be a beast. Maybe not the acceleration, but he will score a lot of goals, and he's only twenty one. So he will be here for the for the five years. So we've got a very big squad. A very good squad. The Bala I can think would be on his way out. We've got Kulaveski out on loan. Spurs. He'll be back. And he'll be awesome. We've got De Litt, Centre back. He will be the future. And then maybe I have to bring in another centre back. Actually. Cellini. You can go on the bench. Maybe. Another centre back in the future or two. I do love a good centre back. And a right back and a left back later on. But strike, strikers. Central midfield. Unless there's someone pops up. That's amazing. This is a very good team. Right. You've seen the team. You know the target that we're aiming for. Champions League titles. We're going to add to Serie A titles. That's what should be a given. I say a given. We've still got to go out and win them. But Champions League title is what we're after the most. Let's see how we get on in Season 1. So it's the end of Season 1 and let's talk about transfers. Who do we bring in? Nuno Santos to play out on the left for 18 million. Could raise the 19.5 million. Mikhail Damsgaard to play out on the left and the right for 18.75 million. Calvin to be back up for right back and one for the future for 9 million. And Joshua Wagnerman for 4.6 million for the same as Calvin to be back up at right back, most probably loan him out to give him some good experience. He's only 21 years of age and with some good potential. Who do we sell? Dabala for 40.5 million. I thought he was going to go to Liverpool, but in the end, he ended up at Man City. Not a bad price. We needed the money to bring some extra players in. 
And like I said, he didn't want to sign a new contract, so better to get the money from him while we could. Who else went out? Mattia De Cilia went for 5.5 million to Roma. Right back, 29 years of age. You see the other right backs we bring in, some good youngsters with some good potential. 29 years of age, he's at the wrong end of his career now. So I'm saying for five-year rebuild, got rid of him. 5.5 million, not bad at all. Who else? Federico Beneschi for 5 million to Roma. Again, two players off to Roma. Not a bad little prize. Couldn't really see him playing too much football. He's 28 years of age and I want to build for the future, like I said. And 5 million, it's not too bad. We did sell some other players, but not really too much to mention. 105k here, 53k here. Uh, 2.8 million here for a youngster, 21 years of age. He did have some good potential, but there's something about him that I didn't think he was going to be a good player long term. I might be wrong, but most probably am. And 2.8 million, well, we could do with the money to buy the players that I wanted to get in. So that was it. So how well did we get on the league? We're champions. We've got 88 points, six points clear of second place Lazio. So I know you're going to say you've got a very good team. I know we've got a very good team, but we've still got to keep this going. We've got to win Serie A titles, but the Champions League is the main thing. We haven't got the top goal scorer in the league. Immobile, Lazio, 33 goals. He's such a good striker. Uh, Lazio, real build if you haven't seen it. Uh, Blavik, 30 goals. Not bad for us in the season. 30 goals. He's still looking awesome. He's 21 years of age. Morata, 16 goals. He's only on loan. Keane. With 12 goals, he's only on loan, but he will be making the move permanent. It was already pre-arranged in the game. Average rating wise, Vlavic with the best performance for us with a 7.43. Mobley just had a really good season, 32 years of age. That's the biggest problem with him. Uh, Guadrado, 7.36, really, really good. And yeah, this one's a little bit Federico uh, Kaiser, 7.18. Didn't have the best season considering how good he is. I'm expecting a lot more from him. And the competitions wise, and the main thing, like I say, it's Champions League. How well did we get on? We got knocked out in the first round against Paris Saint-Germain. Not, not the best. Not the best. We did win the Copa Italia Coca-Cola and the Super Copa Coca-Cola. We come runners up. Who did we play in the final of this? 6-5, extra time against AC Milan. You're going to get your money's worth. And then in the final, we runner up against Inter Milan. Penalties. Tough. Tough. Tough one to take. So far, season one has gone very well. It's the Champions League. We need to build on the Champions League. Hopefully next season we can. Let's get into season two. So it's the start of season two and it's the 1st of September and the transfer window is shut and the players in are Gonzalo and Sasu for 31.5 million and Martin Vandeville, a very good youngster for the future, backup keeper at the moment in time, but later on in his five years, hopefully will become the new number one. Renan, a very good centre-back, left-back. I've had him before. He's really good. I just hope this version of him will be really good as well. And Victor Christensen for 12 million. A very good left-back for the future. I've always wanted him. I've never had him. But he looks very decent. And another one for the future. Players out. Rolando Mandagora to uh, Torino for 7.75 million. I hope that's how you say his name. Adrian Rabor for 21 million. A very good price to Lazio. And a few other players gone out. Gianluca from Botta to 1.4 million to Lille. If I look down the list, there's some little bits and pieces. Some youngsters going out on loan. A lot of youngsters going out on loan. 1.3 million here. Mattia Perrin, 4.4 million. He was the backup goalkeeper, 29 years of age. And Van der Ball is now the new backup keeper. Hopefully be number one in the future, like I've said. And this guy going to Leon for 4.1 million. So... All in all, I think we spent 78 million and we've sold 40.5 million, but we still got a bit of money to play with. 13.8 million, but the transfer window, like I said, is shut. Waste budget were 400,000 under, so we still got more than 13 million to spend. Overall balance of the club is very good, a 1.21 million, 121 million. The team is a very good team and it looks like this. We're still playing the champion tactic. It's a very good tactic. If you want to download this tactic, I've made a video on it before. Look in the description. But yeah, our weak spots, maybe depth-wise, maybe that's what we lack in a little bit. But this is a very, very good team and a very young team. Now, we've got some good youngsters on the bench, even though Benesci is 35 years of age and I've extended his contract to 2024. Don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I'll extend it by another year. So he is a very good defender still. He's slowing down a little bit, but he's okay at the moment. Right back and left back, I'm still... 
I'm not really convinced I've got some good youngsters, but I'm not convinced long term there be the right choice. We want to win Champions League because that's what we want. Champions League. Right. Let's get to the end of season two. So it's the end of season two and no one else come in. We had a couple of players go out for a lot of money. 12.75 million here and then 3.6 million here. I couldn't see any room to fit them in the squad. They're not bad players, but they're more like backup and there's no real potential in them to be superstars. So I sold them to get the money in. And with that, we've got a lot of traps that get 103 million for season three. Looking very good indeed. A lot of money to spend. How well though did we do in season two? We're champions. 89 points, three points clear. It was a close run in. We did lose five games this season. But look at this. Top goal scorer, 50 goals. Dusan Vlafic, uh, amazing. 50 goals, absolute phenomenal. What a striker. Moise Keane, 20 goals. So the second season in, 8.0. That's the highest average rating I think I've ever seen. 8.07 for the season. But it, this season, just unstoppable. But not just the league, the Champions League. In the final, Main City took extra time, 4-5. And the hero of the day, you guessed it, scored four goals. Absolute phenomenal. Very close game. In the Cups wise, we won this one last year. Run up this year. We were run up this year. And we won it this year. So we're just switching it about. The Copper Italia Coca-Cola and the Super Copper Coca-Cola. We're taking it in terms to win one, lose one. Uh, season two fantastic and like i said we've got a lot of money to spend 103 million it's the left and right back that i'm worried about and maybe another center back striker strikers though strikers are phenomenal they are amazing so don't think we need a touch on that just another a left back and a right back maybe to and a competition for santos and kai's on the right maybe as well but we have got dams guard so we'll see see i'm trying to spend this money wisely i ain't going to spend it if i don't need to We'll see. Let's get to the start of season three. So the start of season three and the transfer window is shut. And there's two players that come in that were already pre-arranged. They're on loan at the start of the game for two years. So these two were pre-arranged. I didn't bring them in. They're already going to go come in. I bring in these four players here. And they are Maxence Lacroix. Hopefully I say say his name. It's most probably not. I do apologize. 29 million. And he just looks like a really good center back. Even though his potential, it's not saying he's really good. But his attributes, I'm blinded by his attributes. It just looks a phenom. Also in, Mattia Viti for 10.25 million could raise to 12.25 million. Italian, 21 years of age, a youngster with some good potential. Backup player. And like I say, hopefully he might be able to reach his potential. And he's Italian, which is always good. Also in, Victor Ozerman for 75 could raise to NC7 million. And did I need another striker? Yes, I did. Look at him. Pace 19, acceleration 17, agility 16, balance 16. Just an all-round awesome striker. He's lightning quick. He just looks phenomenal. Elite striker. Keen, very good. But this guy is just one step further. And three good strikers. Rotation. It's all about rotation. Uh, also in Reese James, 65 million. Could raise to 85 million. We spent a lot of money on the right back. But same sort of thing. Just look at him. He's mostly the best right back in the game. Uh, maybe. But he's definitely the best right back for us. We've got some really good potential youngsters. But let's get a fully fledged and excellent elite attacking fullback already made. And we have got one in, Reese James. Players out, Kulaveski went for 46 million. Could I find a spot for him? I could have played him. We play wingers, so I could have played him on the left. But 46 million is a lot of money. And yeah, it's just a lot of money. And I can't see him. I love Nuno Santos. And I can't see him playing first choice. And 46 million is, like I said, a lot, a lot of money. So. Out the door he went and Danilo went out for 8.75 million, could raise to 9.75 million. He's 32 years of age and you know we've got Reese James. There's no need for him. We've got a couple of good youngsters as well as backup. So out the door he went and that was the majority of the transfers. Yeah, transfer window, Frank's pretty good. It says 233 million, but like I say, these two was pre-arranged and we brought in 56 million. We have got a little bit of finances, 6 point million, 6.1 million. And then we're still under our wage budget, only spending three million. So all in all, overall balance, 237 million. We're not doing too badly. We're not spending too much. We've got a very, very good squad. Definitely a very good squad. I'm hopeful another Champions League and definitely another league title. With two on the bounce, this may get a hat trick. And maybe another Champions League. End of season three is coming up next. So at the end of season three, we didn't bring anyone else in in January. We've done all our business at the start of the window, which is fantastic. But two players went out. One player I'm so disappointed with. Nicolo Ravella. Look at him. 
a really good youngster. I was really pleased with him. I didn't keep an eye on his contract. His contract was expiring at the end of the season. I went to offer him a new contract, but Real Madrid were already sniffing about and he wouldn't sign a new contract. So I was either letting him go for free or accepting 10 million. And 10 million is far too cheap. Far too, Look at him. He's already in the first team for him. Far too cheap. He's a really good backup player for us coming in when we needed him. And I'm really, really sick about that. I'm really annoyed. Calvin went for 14 million. We've got enough backup right back now. So 14 million was a very good price, which I'm happy about. But how well did we do in the league? Champions, our best ever season. Now, I'm not surprised because this team we put together now is phenomenal. We'll talk about Champions League in a minute. 101 points, best points tally so far. Really, really good. Uh, Champions League, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Win it again. Sadly, in the Super Cup, we lost to Liverpool at the start of the season 2 0. In the Coppa Italia Coca Cola, we got knocked out quite early, but we did win the Super Coppa Coca Cola against AC Milan, did take extra time. But yeah, Champions League winners against Bayern Munich in the final 2 1. Let's pop it up. Really, really good. What a pairing of these two. Even if everyone else plays rubbish, you've got two strikers up front that are just going to scare. We weren't even the better team, we were the worst team. But when you've got these two up front, just scary, absolutely scary. When they get a chance, they're going to score. Uh, absolutely amazing. We've done really well. He couldn't score. Tammy Abraham there with 29 goals. He was the top goal scorer last season. Dusan Vlapic, 50 goals. This season, he can only score 26. But Vic Dosman is trying to get on the act. 21 goals. Jasora Keen down there with 12 goals. Bit part player. 50 goals last season. He was absolutely phenomenal. And with that, with that, with that, let me just type in. Let me get it up. With that, he won the Ballon d'Or last season. And I'm not surprised. Absolutely phenomenal. Kaiser in third place as well. Some guy called Harland in second place. 53 appearances, 35 goals. Which is good. 51 appearances, 71 goals in all competitions. He had an amazing season last season. This season, not as good. So, I don't think he's going to be in the mix for the Ballon d'Or. But a very good season for us. Season 4, let's get to the start of it. Okay, I've got to cut this bin. Before we get to the start of season four, we've got 171 million to spend. We're under the ways budget by 500,000. So we've got a lot of money to spend. What am I after? A decent left back, I think. A left back. Strikers, I'm not touching them now. I don't need to touch them. I'm definitely not touching them. Maybe another winger to competition for Santos. I keep on saying it. Santos and Kaiser. We have got Damsgaard. So that should be enough. But if there's someone out there that comes on the list, you know I'm going to buy him. And 171 million is a lot to spend. So, I should spend it, really. I should. Let's see if I do. Let's get to the start of Season 4. It's the start of Season 4, and I did spend a lot of money. But I also bring some good youngsters, some good new gens for the future. I love buying some new gens. Right, main ones to talk about are Lucas Hernandez for £54 million from Bayern Munich. <laughs> He's just such a good left-back. And why not? We have got Victor Christensen and Renan to play left-back, but... Christensen's taking his time to get to his full potential, whereas Lucas Hernandez is already there, which is great because he can already fit. It's just like Rhys James. We needed someone that's ready to go now, and this is the guy. What a phenomenal left back. Also in, Mariba for 66 million. He's 21 years of age. He's, he's just phenomenal. We're just picking up these absolutely amazing players. Competition for places for Lacatella and McKenney. Three excellent central midfielders. I'm living, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Also in Bayern Munich, he cost me 75 million, could raise to 82 million. And here I'm going to apologise again. Dayot Apakano, a very, very good centre-back. He's a little bit shorter than I like, but he just looks amazing. And I've had him before, and he's just an awesome centre-back. Him and Delit, partner in the central defence, just phenomenal. Rhys James on the right, Hernandez on the left. That's mostly the best back four we've ever had or Juve could ever get. It's just a phenomenal back four and I'm really looking forward to this season. We lost one game last season. Let's see if we can do an unbeaten season. Also in Ricardo Soto. And you're telling me now, why did you bring him in, Tony? He's not all that. He's not all that, but he's such a good backup player and I needed a backup player because Damsgaard was unhappy at being in that position backup for Santos and Kaiser. So he was sold. So I needed another player to play backup and this is the guy. And to be fair to him, He's not a bad player at all. 
And the last player in is Asta Franks, if that's how you say it. A really good central midfielder. He's 21 years of age and good potential. We've got four really, really good central midfielders and he's happy about playing backup, which he will be because the other three are just absolutely awesome. We did bring in some other players. Like I say, we bring in some new gens. Uh, this guy, it's not really going to mention, but I just look at five-star potential. Look at him. Really good central midfielder. I don't know why, because it's a five-year rebuild. They will never play. They will only play backup. But I can't, when they come on the scout reports, I can't leave it. I, I literally can't leave it. I've got to buy him. I need him. I need him in my life. Okay, this guy was just back up. Uh, yeah, so I've brought in some uh, some new gens, some really good new gens. Okay, potential for him was much higher. This is a bit lacking, but his attributes at 18 years of age already is very good. Loan him out. Not that you ever see him, but I just can't leave him on Leave him out there. I need to bring him in. So, players are out. A lot of players that you've never seen before. This, like this guy. 3.7 million here. If I keep going down. 2.9 million here. Dam's guard. He went to Roma for 30 million. That was a good bit of business. Considering he was back up. Lacroix, actually. This one's very disappointing. Because he was a very good centre back. Or so I thought. And he didn't have the best season. A 6.95. We spent 29 million on him. We got 23.5 million back. Uh, this guy here, 11.5 million, central midfielder. Actually, he's a he's a really good player. But the fact is, if you've seen the other four, it's, it's just no... What can you say? If you've seen the other four, you know the reason why we sold him. Uh, Luca Pellegrini sold him in the end for 11 million. Because we've got Hernandez now. Uh, 22 million here, Arthur. Bit part player, 22 million, like I said. That's really good. But the other three or four central midfielders are phenomenal. Right, that is the players in and out for Season 4. Let's get to the end of Season 4. So at the end of Season 4, I've done something that I haven't done for the first three seasons. I brought someone in January, and it was a free transfer. His contract was expiring in January, so I offered him a contract. Why? Why, Tony? He's 19 years of age. He's four and a half star potential. He looks okay, but the potential, he looks fantastic. But it's only one more year to go. Why bring him in? I just can't leave them there. I can't do it. When they when the scout reports come up and they show me these great youngsters, I can't leave them there. One player went out. Renan went for 12.75 million. Couldn't get a game at left back. Couldn't get a game at centre back, really. So I've got rid of him. How well did we do in season four? We've done really well. We've got a fantastic team. 98 points, 106 goal difference. FIFA Club World Cup still ongoing. We won the Champions League against Arsenal 3-1. Phenomenal. Uh... Super Cup won that this time round. Pull it up, beat in Leipzig in in it three two. Runner up in the Copper Italico. You think we'd win everything? Uh, it, this is really frustrates me when we don't win everything. I just want a clean sweep, and then we won the Super Copper Coca Cola, beating AC Milan two 0 Did I pull up the runner up one? Losing to Atalanta on penalties. Tough, very tough to take. Like I say, here's the league. Last season we only lost one game. This season we lost four games. We only drew two games. Immobile scoring 40 goals. What is he on? What is he on? Blavik, 29 goals. Osman with 23. Mariba, 16. Akaiza with 15. Absolutely fine. And Lacatelli with 12. This team, and look at the average rating wise. This team is so, so good. The top five. Santos, I just love him. Mariba, what a season. Kaiser, amazing. Blavik and Osman is also amazing two really really good strikers 23 clean sheets we have been playing van der Voort in goal finally he's took his place and we did sell i think i didn't mention it we did sell chesney chesney hawks to roma on a free there you go and so van der Voort is now the new number one if we take a look at the team that we've been playing is this team, and this is our best 11. This is a phenomenal team. Van der Voort, Hernandez, the guy I struggle to say, Upper Cano, De Litt, James, Lacatelli, and McKenna. They swap about a bit, but Mariba plays in this position, the central midfield attack. Santos on the left, Kois on the right, Osman and Vlavic up front. A very, very good team. Phenomenal team. Four league titles, three Champions League titles to the name. Four league titles, that means they've won 40 now, so that means another star for the shirt. Oh, take a breath, Tony, because this has been one hell of a season. What money have we got to spend next season? What 
players do I need to improve? 158 million, 600,000 on wage budget. I'm not too sure how I improve this team because this team is phenomenal. Central midfield, we're done. Maybe someone to really compete with Kaiser and Santos because at the moment in time, they play every game. No one don't get a look in because the backup is, is this guy, Ricardo Soto. He's the backup. You can see here, he's played eight starts, 15 from the bench. But maybe get someone to really push the one of these two. Because the rest, untouchable, I would say. I would say. Let's get the start of Season 5. So it's the start of the final season, Season 5. And you can see we did spend a lot of money. And a fair few players in, but most of them are new gens. You know I can't leave them there. The two main players that we brung in, Rococo, 89 million, 20 years of age. He's already, if you don't know about him, he's just a phenom. Really, really good. Why did I bring him in? Well, because Keane was sold and I wanted three awesome strikers. I love having three awesome strikers. It's got us three Champions Leagues, four league titles. So it's been working well with three phenomenal strikers up front. So when Keane goes, I needed a new one. And this was the player to bring in. Also in, Yeremi Pino. I hope I say you say his name. And I said I wanted some really good competition for Santos and Kaiser. And I think this is the guy. This is the guy. If anything, maybe Santos might not play as much. Because this guy is very, very good. I did bring in some other players. But they are youngsters. <laughs> Don't shame me five-star potential youngsters or four-and-a-half-star potential youngsters. Because I will just pick them up. Five million. That's fine. This is the last season, Tony. You're not going to see him. This kid, okay, he's not 21 years of age. You're not going to see him. I know, but I just can't leave him there. I just can't leave him there. So players out. Bagged him in for six million. He never really got a game. He was back up, right back. He went out the door. Kyle George to buy a labour cousin. And when I saw Keane, you're thinking, maybe this guy could be the guy to take his spot to three awesome strikers. That would be the case. But by Leverkusen off me 48 million. See you later. And Moise Keane went out for 65 million. And I get the reason why he wanted to leave. He was a bit part play. He couldn't really get into the team all the time. But he's such a good backup player to have. But for 65 million, I just I just had to sell him. Especially when Mukuku was out there for the price we paid was 89 million. Not a bad price. And we've sold Kyle George as well. So that paid for that. Some of them two paid for Mukuku. Which is which is good. Good business. And the last player to mention was Mattia VT went for 10 million to Marseille. So that was it. That was the transfer business at the start of the season. There's still a bit of time. It's the 14th of August. I don't think I'm going to spend any more money. We do have 38 million left. Bit of wage budget as well. But I'm happy. I'm happy. Good, good bit of business. Now let's get to the end of the final season. So it's the end of season five. And the end of last season, we were in the FIFA Club World Cup. We got to the final, we played Main City and we beat them 4-0. In the league, in the league we've done really, really well. 103 points, the best we've ever done. 114 goal difference, we lost one game. Second to last game of the season, we lost 3-2 to Torino. I'm literally so frustrated. I really, really wanted an unbeatable season. It would have been phenomenal. 114 goals, 103 points. Goals-wise... Dusan Vlahic is back to his best, scoring 38 goals a season. Makuku, 23. Ozerman, 23. The three of them, just phenomenal. Can't speak highly enough. Absolute three amazing strikers. Champions League, other competitions, how well do we do? So, so far, we've in five-year rebuild, we've won five Serie A's. In the Champions League, in four years, we didn't win the Champions League in our first season, but the next three we have... Final season, can we make it four in a row? Let's find out. No, we can't. We lost. We lost against Paris Saint-Germain in the final. And if I bring it up, you will see there is a reason why. Fifth, they went 1-0 up on the second minute. On the 52nd minute, we had someone sent off. And on the 73rd minute, McKenney got sent off. And with nine men, it's just not enough. And it was a very even game. But it's not enough. Everyone didn't do the best. It wasn't great. And yeah, it was... I really, really wanted four Champions League. And with the team that we got, we should have done it. We definitely should have done it. Um, 
We won the UEFA Super Cup. We won the Copa Italia Coca Cola. Who did we play in the Super Cup? We played Chelsea 5 1, beat them. Got a few Super Cups now. Amazing. Uh, the Copa Italia won on that. Beat Inter Milan 4 uh, 1. And the Super Copa beat Atalanta 5 0. But it's just Champions League. I wanted a clean sweep and I wanted an unbeatable, unbeaten season. Would have been superb. Would have been a really good end. But sadly, Torino, let me just pull it up. Last game, the second to last game of the season. Here it is here. The second to last game of the season. So, so frustrating. It's unreal. And then this one with PSG getting two players sent off. Um, Yeah, I feel this rebuild has been amazing. Like I said, we got three Champions Leagues to our name. Five Serie A's and a Super Copper and a Copper Italia Coca-Cola. Too many to mention. But yeah, it was all really about the Champions League. Because Juve, Juventus, Zebra are a very good Serie A team. So the league-wise, it's not a given. But in five years, you'd expect to win four or five. But the Champions League, it would have been the dream to get four. The team, the best team, 11. Let's take a look. What Rui was playing. Van der Voort, Hernandez. The guy who struggled to say. Upanacano. De Litt, James, Lacatelli, Mariba, Kaiser, Pino. Ozerman and Flavik up front. Pino's in now. He's on the right. And, uh, Kaiser can play on the left. He's just phenomenal. Kaiser, like five seasons, he's been absolutely awesome with some really good ratings. Pino's done all right for his first season. Feel a bit sorry for Nuno Santos. He was out there on the left. He's 31 years of age now and he's starting to just drop off a little bit. But the first four seasons, he was... I made it up the first season. But the second and third and fourth season, he was really good. And then he's been a bit of part of playing in the fifth season. Uh, but excellent buy, really, really good buy. Uh, Maribo is another one that's been a really good buy. Costs a lot of money, but two seasons in, and that's a not a bad. At Ten goals, five assists, not as good as last season, but it's really, really good. But this guy from the start of the season just been absolutely awesome. Agility, uh, ability five, potential five, just phenomenal. He's had a fantastic season again. Thirty appearances, thirty-eight goals. 48 appearances in all competitions and 68 goals. Not quite as good as is this season. The second season, he's scoring 50 goals. But his partner, alongside him, he's got some proper competition with Ozerman and Makuku. And Makuku, to be fair to him, load of, load of sub appearances as a sub. Uh, 23 appearances in the league, 23 goals. It's a struggle. It's a struggle to figure out what the best two is. Because you leave one of these out, they were going to be upset. I feel maybe next season would be Makuku and Vlavic, but it's a problem I'm not going to have because the, the rebuild is over. It's a problem for someone else from the new manager when they come in. Thank you so much for watching. It's been such good fun with this team. It just feels like it's mostly the best team I've ever created. It's so, so good. But like I say, thank you so much for watching. I've got a Tottenham beta save coming for FM23. And my non-league and beyond is uh, going to be Weymouth. So stick around for that. That's coming in a few weeks, hopefully when the beta drops. And a few weeks after that, when the full game drops on the 8th of November. Thank you again for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. And that's it from me. And I'll see you in the next video.